Hey, what's up guys? I'm so excited today. So, um, today I will tell you about is that kanji is really important. So, yes, I will explain it. Is that kanji is really important? The answer is yes. Kanji is important. Why? It's because um, I still remember my first time I learned Japanese. I learned about hiragana and katakana. That's really fun. And then I feel like I tell my friends like, "Hey, dude, I can read. I can read Japanese. Is that cool? Like, I can read hiragana. I can read kan、uh, katakana." And then, um, and I said like, "I can write it too. It's not just read. It's like it's really cool." And then after that, um, my parents told me that, "Do you want to study abroad to Japan?" And I was thinking like, "Yeah, sure," because. Why not? Like I, I can, I can learn hiragana and katakana too, and I, I think I can read it. So, it's it will not hurt. Like it's Japanese, is not hard. And then after that,、um, I'm study abroad there. My first time I arrived in Kansai Airport. So I arrived in. I still I still remember it's around July. So I arrived in Kansai Airport, and then in. That airport, my、uh, language Japanese teach my language Japanese teacher、um, picked me up, and then he asked me that, "Do you want to try to、um, buy a ticket in the the ticket machine?" So there's a ticket machine, and I was like, "Oh yeah, sure." And then I try over there, and I can do it with I can do it with Japanese. That's fine. And after that, I saw it, and I was like. What is this? Like it's not even hiragana. And what is this? So, yes, all the ticket machine, all that ticket machine, everything is kanji. Everything is kanji. And then I was like, no way, I cannot read this one. And then I I go in and then I go into the bus. I sat in the corner of the bus. It's really the back corner. And then. I look around, and what I see is just like kanji and hiragana. They are combined. And I asked my teacher like, why we didn't use hiragana? And my teacher said that no, everything is with kanji because there is a reason to. If you use、um, just hiragana, people can get、uh, people can get confused what you say. Because different kanji have a different meaning. Even the to have hira, the same hiragana with a different pronunciation. So I will show it to you what it looks like. So actually, it's more like this. You can see. Um, I'm sorry. This is my laptop. It's from my college. So you can see like um, it's still with the kanji over here. Some um katakana, kanji, and then. If you write something、um, or chatting with your Japanese friend, they will say like "mo gohan mo tabemasu ka" or、um, "anata." No, never say "anata." Never say "anata" is not because it's just feel weird. I never hear say "anata" in the daily life too. Just say. Uh, I'm gonna buy it. So you can say like I'm gonna buy it. You can see this is like kanji over here, and then there's hiragana, and then this one is buy it. It means、um, go home. So with kanji and hiragana. So if I write it, it will be ima kara kairu. So that's the same things. So if you say to me, kanji is important or not, I will say kanji is super important. So please, please, please learn kanji, please. Even in the GLPT N five, the kanji for a beginner is really hard.
but if you're going to N1, when I took the N1, um, the GLPT N1, the kanji is same like you read a newspaper. So when you ask me, is that newspaper in Japanese with hiragana? No, that's full kanji. So guys, that's the explanation. So remember, learn kanji too. Not just, not just think like kanji is same with the hiragana and katakana, which is you need to learn it. So the answer is kanji is really important. So don't forget, guys, to keep follow Pocket Nihongo Global uh, in our YouTube channel, and then Po and Go Global in our Instagram. Don't forget to follow, to subscribe, put your like, and then don't forget to put your comments. So see you in the next video, guys. Thank you.